The Apennines or Apennine Mountains, Greek, Apennina or Latin, Apenninus or Apenninus Mons. A singular used in the plural, Italian, Apennini, Apennini, are a mountain range consisting of parallel smaller chains extending c. 1,200 km along the length of peninsular Italy. In the northwest they join with the Ligurian Alps at Altair. In the southwest they end at Reggio di Calabria, the coastal city at the tip of the peninsula. Since 2000 the Environment Ministry of Italy, following the recommendations of the Apennines Park of Europe project, has been defining the Apennines system to include the mountains of North Sicily, for a total distance of 1,500 km miles. The system forms an arc enclosing the east side of the Ligurian and Tyrrhenian seas. The etymology most frequently repeated, because of its semantic appropriateness, is that it derives from the Celtic pen, mountain, summit, a pen enus, which could have been assigned during the Celtic domination of North Italy in the 4th century BC or before. The name originally applied to the North Apennines. However, historical linguists have never found a derivation with which they all agree. Wilhelm Dieck said. Its etymology is doubtful but some derive it from the Ligurian Celtish pen or ben, which means mountain peak. The Apennines also conserve some intact ecosystems, which have survived human intervention. In here there are some of the best preserved forests and montane grasslands in the whole continent, now protected by national parks and, within them, a high diversity of flora and fauna. These mountains are, in fact, one of the last refuges for the big European predators such as the Italian wolf and the Marsican brown bear, now extinct in other countries of Central Europe. The mountains lend their name to the Apennine Peninsula, which forms the major part of Italy. They are mostly verdant, although one side of the highest peak, Corno Grande is partially covered by Calderone Glacier, the only glacier in the Apennines. It has been receding since 1794. The eastern slopes down to the Adriatic Sea are steep, while the western slopes form foothills on which most of peninsular Italy's cities are located. The mountains tend to be named from the province or provinces in which they are located, for example, the Ligurian Apennines are in Liguria. As the provincial borders have not always been stable, this practice has resulted in some confusion about exactly where the montane borders are. Often but not always a geographical feature can be found that lends itself to being a border. Geography The Apennines are divided into three sectors, northern Italian, Apennino Settentrionale, central Apennino Centrale, and southern Apennino Meridionale. A number of long hiking trails wind through the Apennines. Of note is European walking route E1 coming from northern Europe and traversing the lengths of the northern and central Apennines. The Grand Italian Trail begins in Trieste and after winding through the Alpine Arc traverses the entire Apennine system, Sicily and Sardinia. Northern Apennines The Northern Apennines consist of three sub-chains, the Ligurian Apennino Ligure, Tuscan Emilian Apennino Toscano Emiliano, and Umbrian Apennines Apennino Umbro. Ligurian Apennines the Ligurian Apennines border the Ligurian Sea in the Gulf of Genoa, from about Savona below the upper Bormida River Valley to about La Spezia La Cisa Pass below the upper Magra River Valley. The range follows the Gulf of Genoa separating it from the upper Po Valley. The northwestern border follows the line of the Bormida River to Aquiterme. There the river continues northeast to Alessandria in the Po Valley, but the mountains bend away to the southeast. The upper Bormida can be reached by a number of roads proceeding inland at a right angle to the coast southwest of Savona, the chief one being the Autostrada Torino-Savona. They ascend to the Bocetta di Altare, sometimes called Col di Cadivona, 436 meters feet, the border between the Ligurian Alps along the coast to the west and the Ligurian Apennines. A bronze plaque fixed to a stone marks the top of the pass. In the vicinity are fragments of the old road and three ruins of former fortifications. At Carcare, the main roads connect with the upper Bormida Valley, Bormida di Malare, before turning west. The Scribia, the Trebia and the Taro, tributaries of the Po River, drain the northeast slopes. The range contains dozens of peaks. 
Toward the southern end the Aveto Natural Regional Park includes Monte Pena. Nearby is the highest point of Ligurian Apennines, Monte Maggiorosca at 1,780 meters 5,840 feet, the main and only feasible overland route connecting the coastal plain of Liguria to the North Italian plain runs through Bocetta di Altair. It has always been of strategic importance. Defenders of North Italy have had to control it since ancient times, as the various fortifications placed there testify. Trenitalia, the state railway system, highly developed on the coastal plain, now traverses the mountains routinely through a number of railway tunnels, such as the one at Jovi Pass. The southeastern border of the Ligurian Apennines is the Fiume Magra, which projects into the Tyrrhenian Sea south of La Spezia, and the Fiume Taro, which runs in the opposite direction to join the Po River. The divide between the two upper river valleys is the Paso della Cisa, Cisa Pass. Under it two tunnels runs the Autostrada della Cisa between Spezia and Parma. Tuscan Emilian Apennines Starting at Cisa Pass, the mountain chains turn further to the southeast to cross the peninsula along the border between the Emilia-Romagna and Tuscany regions. They are also named the Tuscan Emilian Apennines west of the Feuda Pass and the Tuscan Romagnol Apennines east of it, or just the Tuscan Apennines. They extend to the upper Tiber River. The highest point is Monte Simone at 2,165 meters feet. A separate branch, the Apuan Alps, goes to the southwest bordering the coast south of La Spezia. Whether they are to be considered part of the Apennines is a matter of opinion, certainly, they are part of the Apennine system. Topographically only the valley of the river Serchio, which running parallel to the coast turns and exits into the Tyrrhenian Sea north of Pisa, separates the Apuan Alps from the Apennines. Geologically the rock is of a slightly different composition, marble. The Roman marble industry was centered at Luna, and is now active in Carrara. As the Tuscan Apennines divide the peninsula between the Po Valley and the plains and hills of Tuscany and Lazio, transportation over them is essential to political and economic unity. Historically the Romans used the Via Flaminia between Rome and Rimini. The montane distance between Florence in Tuscany and Bologna in Emilia-Romagna is shorter, but exploitation of it required the conquest of more rugged terrain, which was not feasible for the ancients. Railway lines were constructed over the mountains in the early 19th century but they were of low capacity and unimprovable. Since 1856 a series of tunnels have been constructed to conduct the Bologna-Florence rail line, which is neither a single line nor a single tunnel. The Poratana line went into service in 1864, the Durettissima in 1934 and the High Speed in 1996. A few dozen tunnels support the three of them, the longest on the high-speed line being the Volia Tunnel at 16.757 km 10 miles. The longest is on the Durettissima, the Great Apennine Tunnel, which at 18.5 km 11 .5 miles, is the longest entirely within Italy, although the Simplon Tunnel, which connects Italy and Switzerland, is longer. Automobile traffic is carried by the Autostrada del Sol, Route A1, which goes through numerous shorter tunnels, bypassing an old road, originally Roman, through Fiuta Pass. In December 2015, a new Route A1 called Variante di Valico was opened after many years of construction consisting of major tunnels, the longest being the new 8.6 km mile tunnel base and new overpasses notably shortening the traveling time between Florence and Bologna by road. Inside the Tuscan Romagnol Apennines are in the southern part also the forest Casentinesi, Monte Falterona, Campina National Park. Geographically the southernmost sharp limit of the Tuscan Romagnol Apennines is the Bocca Seriola Pass that is politically in northern Umbria and links Fano and Città di Castello. The Tiber River at Rome flows from Monte Fumaiolo in the Tuscan Romagnol Apennine from northeast to southwest, projecting into the Tyrrhenian Sea at right angles to the shore. The upper Tiber, however, flows from northwest to southeast, gradually turning through one right angle clockwise. The northern Tiber Valley is deep and separates the Apennines on the left bank from a lesser range, the Tuscan Anti or Sub Apennines on its right. Central Apennines 
The Apennine system forms an irregular arc with centers of curvature located in the Tyrrhenian Sea. The northern and southern segments comprise parallel chains that can be viewed as single overall mountain ridges, such as the Ligurian Mountains. The center, being thicker and more complex, is geologically divided into an inner and an outer arc with regard to the centers of curvature. The geologic definition, however, is not the same as the geographic. Based on rock type and orogenic incidence, the northern segment of the arc is divided into the outer northern Apennines and the inner northern Apennines The central Apennines are divided into the Umbrian Marcian Apennino Umbro Marchigiano, or Roman Apennines in the north and the Abruzzi Apennines Apennino Abruzzese, in the south, it extends from Bocca Seriola pass in the north to Forli pass in the south. Umbrian Marcian Apennines the west border of the Umbrian Marcian Apennines or Umbro Marcian runs through Cagli. They extend south to the Tronto River, the south border of the Ona. The highest peak, Monte Vittore, at 2,478 meters (8,130 feet), is part of the Monte Sibillini, incorporated into Parco Nazionale dei Monti Sibillini. Further inland is Parco Sasso Simone e Simoncello and further south Parco Natural Regionale Gola della Rosa di Frassasi, in which are the Gola della Rosa Canyon of the Red, and Frassasi Caves. The Italian Park Service calls it the Green Heart of Italy. The region is heavily forested, such as the Reserva Natural Statale Gola del Furlo, where Furlo Pass on the Via Flaminia is located. Both the Etruscans and the Romans constructed tunnels here. Abruzzi Apennines The Abruzzi Apennines, located in Abruzzo, Molise, formerly part of Abruzzo, and southeastern Lazio, contain the highest peaks and most rugged terrain of the Apennines. They are known in history as the territory of the Italic peoples first defeated by the city of Rome. Coincidentally they exist in three parallel folds or chains surviving from the orogeny. These extend in a northwest-southeast direction from the river Tronto to the river Sangro, which drain into the Adriatic. The coastal hills of the east extend between San Benedetto del Tronto in the north and Torino di Sangro in the south. The eastern chain consists mainly of the southern part of the Monte Sibillini, the Monte della Laga, the Grand Sasso d'Italia Massif and the Magella Massif. Among them are two national parks, Grand Sasso e Monte della Laga National Park and Magella National Park, and the regional park of the Monte Simbruini. Grand Sasso contains Corno Grande, the highest peak of the Apennines. Other features between the western and central ranges are the plain of Riti, the valley of the Salto, and the Lago Fucino, while between the central and eastern ranges are the valleys of Aquila and Salmona. The chief rivers on the west are the Nera, with its tributaries the Valino and Salto, and the Anian, both of which fall into the Tiber. On the east there is at first a succession of small rivers which flow into the Adriatic, from which the highest points of the chain are some 20 km distant, such as the Tronto, Tordino, Vomano and others. The Pescara, which receives the Aterno from the northwest and the Gizio from the southeast, is more important, and so is the Sangro. The central Apennines are crossed by the railway from Rome to Pescara via Avizzano and Salmona, the railway from Orte to Terna and thence to Foligno follows the Nera Valley, while from Terna a line ascends to the plain of Riti, and thence crosses the central chain to Aquila, once it follows the valley of the Aterno to Salmona. In ancient times the Via Salaria, Via Sicilia and Via Valeria Claudia all ran from Rome to the Adriatic coast. The volcanic mountains of the province of Rome are separated from the Apennines by the Tiber Valley, and the Monte Lepini, part of the Volscian chain, by the valleys of the Sacco and Liri. Southern Apennines The Southern Apennines can be divided into four major regions, 1, Samnite Apennines, 2, Campanian Apennines, 3, Lucan Apennines and 4, Calabrian Apennines including the Sicilian Apennines, they extend from Forli pass towards south. Samnite and Campanian Apennines In the southern Apennines, to the south of the Sangro Valley, the three parallel chains are broken up into smaller groups, among them may be named the Matisse, the highest point of which is the Monte Mileto 2050 meters 6725 feet. 
The chief rivers on the southwest are the Liri or Garigliano with its tributary the Sacco, the Volturno, Sabeto, Sarno, on the north the Trino, Biferno and Fortori, the promontory of Monte Gargano, on the east, is completely isolated, and so are the Campanian volcanic arc near Naples. The district is traversed from northwest to southeast by the railway from Salmona to Benevento and on to Avellino, and from southwest to northeast by the railways from Caianello via Isernia to Campo Basso and Termoli, from Caserta to Benevento and Foggia, and from Nacera Inferiore and Avellino to Rochetta S. Antonio, the junction for Foggia, Spinazzola for Barletta, Bari, and Taranto, and Potenza. Roman roads followed the same lines as the railways, the Via Appia ran from Capua to Benevento, once the older road went to Venosa and Taranto and so to Brindisi, while the Via Traiana ran nearly to Foggia and thence to Bari. Lucan Apennines the valley of the Afonto, which runs into the Adriatic close to Barletta, marks the northern termination of the first range of the Lucanian Apennines now Basilicata, which runs from east to west, while south of the valleys of the Sel on the west and Basento on the east, which form the line followed by the railway from Battipaglia via Potenza to Metaponto. The second range begins to run due north and south as far as the plain of Sibari. The highest point is the Monte Polino 2,233 meters (7,325 feet). The chief rivers are the Selt, joined by the Negro and Calore, on the west, and the Bradano, Basento, Agri, Cini on the east, which flow into the Gulf of Taranto. To the south of the last named river, there are only unimportant streams flowing into the sea east and west. In Asmacus, here the width of the peninsula diminishes to some 64 kilometers, 40 miles. Calabrian and Sicilian Apennines. The railway running south from Cisignano to Lagonegro, ascending the valley of the Negro, is planned to extend to Casenza, along the line followed by the ancient Via Papilia, which beyond Casenza reached the west coast at Torina and thence followed it to Reggio. The Via Herculia, a branch of the Via Traiana, ran from Acum Tuticum to the ancient Nerulum. At the narrowest point the plain of Sibari, through which the rivers Coastal and Crati flow to the sea, occurs on the east coast, extending halfway across the peninsula. Here the limestone Apennines proper cease and the granite mountains of Calabria begin. The first group extends as far as the isthmus formed by the gulfs of South Euphemia and Squillus, it is known as the Sila, and the highest point reached is 1,930 metres 6, feet, the Bot Donato. The forests which covered it in ancient times supplied the Greeks and Sicilians with timber for shipbuilding. The railway from South Euphemia to Catanzaro and Catanzaro Marina crosses the isthmus, and an ancient road may have run from Squillus to Monte Leone. The second group extends to the south end of the Italian peninsula, culminating in the Aspromonte to the east of Reggio di Calabria. In both groups the rivers are quite unimportant. Finally, the Calabrian Southern Apennine Mountains extend along the northern coast of Sicily, the Sicilian Apennines, Italian Apennino Siculo, Pizzo Carbonara, 6,493 feet, 1,979 meters, being the highest peak. Ecology Vegetative zones Ecoregions North and Central, Apennine deciduous montane forest, temperate broadleaf and mixed forests biome North through South, Italian sclerophyllous and semi-deciduous forests, Mediterranean forests, woodlands, and scrub biome South, South Apennine mixed montane forests, also a Mediterranean biome. The number of vascular plant species in the Apennines has been estimated at 5,599. Of these, 728, 23.6%, are in the treeline ecotone. Hemicryptophytes predominant in the entire Apennine chain. Alpine zone. The tree-line ecotone is mainly grasslands of the montane grasslands and shrublands biome, with temperate broadleaf and mixed forests, and Mediterranean forests, woodlands, and scrub below it. The tree-line in the Apennines can be found in the range 1,600 meters (5,200 feet) to 2,000 meters (6,600 feet). About 5% of the map area covered by the Apennines is at or above the tree-line, or in the tree-line ecotone. 
The snow line is at about 3,200 meters (10,500 feet), leaving the Apennines below it, except for the one remaining glacier. Snow may fall from October to May. Rainfall increases with latitude. The range's climates, depending on elevation and latitude, are the oceanic climate and Mediterranean climate. Geology The Apennines were created in the Apennine orogeny beginning in the early Neogene, about 20 MYA, the Middle Miocene, and continuing today. Geographically, they are partially or appear to be continuous with the Alpine system. Prior to the explosion of data on the topic from about the year 2000, many authors took the approach that the Apennines had the same origin as the Alps. Even today, some authors use the term Alpine Apennine system. They are not, however, the same system and did not have the same origin. The Alps were millions of years old before the Apennines rose from the sea. Both the Alps and the Apennines contain primarily sedimentary rock resulting from sedimentation of the ancient Tethys Sea in the Mesozoic. The northward movement of the African Plate and its collision with the European Plate then caused the Alpine orogeny, beginning in the late Mesozoic. The band of mountains created extends from Spain to Turkey in a roughly east-west direction and includes the Alps. The Apennines are much younger, extend from northwest to southeast, and are not a displacement of the Alpine chain. The key evidence of the difference is the geologic behavior of the Po Valley in northern Italy. Compressional forces have been acting from north to south in the Alps and from south to north in the Apennines, but instead of being squeezed into mountains the valley has been subsiding at 1 to 4 mm in per year since about 25 MYA, before the Apennines existed. It is now known to be not an erosional feature but is a filled portion of the Adriatic Trench, called the Adriatic Forty, after its function as a subduction zone was discovered. The Alps and the Apennines were always separated by this trench and were never part of the same system. Formation of rocks Apennine orogeny the Apennine orogeny is a type of mountain building in which two simpler types are combined in an apparently paradoxical configuration. Sometimes this is referred to as synorogenic extension, but the term implies that the two processes occur simultaneously during time. Some scientists imagine that this is relatively rare but not unique in mountain building, whereas others imagine that this is fairly common in all mountain belts. The retreat project have this specific feature as one of their focus points. In essence the east side of Italy features a fold and thrust belt raised by compressional forces acting under the Adriatic Sea. This side has been called the Apennine Adriatic Compressional Zone or the Apennines Convergence Zone. On the west side of Italy fault block mountains prevail created by a spreading or extension of the crust under the Tyrrhenian Sea. This side is called the Tyrrhenian Extensional Zone. The mountains of Italy are of paradoxical provenience, having to derive from both compression and extension. The paradox of how contraction and extension can occur simultaneously in convergent mountain belts remains a fundamental and largely unresolved problem in continental dynamics. Both the folded and the fault block systems include parallel mountain chains. In the folded system anticlines erode into the highest and longest massifs of the Apennines. According to the older theories originating from the 1930s to 1970s of Dutch geologists, including Van Bemelen, compression and extension can and should occur simultaneously at different depths in a mountain belt. In these theories, these different levels are called stockwork. More recent work in geotectonics and geodynamics of the same school of geoscientists Utrecht and Amsterdam University by Vlaar, Wardle, and Clothing, and their disciples, extended these concepts even further into a temporal realm. They demonstrated that internal and external forces acting upon the mountain belt e.g., slab pull and intra-plate stress field modulations due to large-scale reorganizations of the tectonic plates result in both longer episodes and shorter phases of general extension and compression acting both upon and inside mountain belts and tectonic arches see e.g. for extensive reviews, bibliography and discussions on the literature, Van Dyke 1992, Van Dyke and Oakes 1991, Van Dyke and Sheepers 1995, and Van Dyke et al. 2000a. 
Compressional zone The gradual subsidence of the Po Valley including that of Venice, and the folding of the mountains of eastern Italy have been investigated using seismic wave analysis of the Apennine subduction system. Along the Adriatic side of Italy, the floor of the Adriatic Sea, referred to as the Adriatic lithosphere, or the Adriatic plate, terms whose precise meaning is the subject of ongoing research, is dipping under the slab on which the Apennines have been folded by compressional forces. Subduction occurs along a fault, along which a hanging wall, or overriding slab is thrust over an overridden slab, also called the subducting slab. The fault that acts as the subduction interface is at the bottom of the Apennine wedge, characterized by a deep groove in the surface, typically filled with sediment, as sedimentation here occurs at a much faster rate than subduction. In North Italy the dip of this interface is 30 degrees to 40 degrees at a depth of 80 to 90 km. The strike of the Apennine subduction zone forms a long, irregular arc with centers of curvature in the Tyrrhenian Sea following the hanging wall over which the mountains have been raised, i.e., the eastern wall of the mountains. It runs from near the base of the Ligurian Apennines in the Po Valley along the margin of the mountains to the Adriatic, along the coastal deeps of the Adriatic shore, strikes inland at Monte Gargano cutting off Apulia, out to sea again through the Gulf of Taranto, widely around the rest of Italy and Sicily and across inland North Africa. The upper mantle above 250 kilometers, 160 miles deep is broken into the Northern Apennines Arc and the Calabrian Arc with compressional forces acting in different directions radially toward the arc's centers of curvature. The overall plate tectonics of these events has been modeled in different ways, but decisive data is still missing. The tectonics, however, are not the same as those which created the Alps. Extensional zone The west side of Italy is given to a fault block system, where the crust, extended by the lengthening mantle below, thinned, broke along roughly parallel fault lines, and the blocks alternatively sank into grabens or were raised by isostasy into horsts. This system prevails from Corsica eastward to the valley of the Tiber River, the last rift valley in that direction. It runs approximately across the direction of extension. In the fault block system the ridges are lower and are more steep-sided, since the walls are formed by faults. Geographically they are not considered part of the Apennines proper but are termed sub-Apennine or anti-Apennine. These mountains are found mainly in Tuscany, Lazio and Campania. Stability of terrain The terrain of the Apennines as well as that of the Alps is to a large degree unstable due to various types of landslides, including falls and slides of rocks and debris, flows of earth and mud, and sink holes. The Institute for Environmental Protection and Research Istituto Superiore per la Protezione e la Ricerca Ambientale, a government agency founded in 2008 by combining three older agencies, published in that year a special report, Landslides in Italy, summarizing the results of the IFFI project Il Progetto IFFI, the Italian Landslide Inventory, Inventario dei Fenomeni Franosi in Italia, an extensive survey of historical landslides in Italy undertaken by the government starting in 1997. On December 31, 2007, it had studied and mapped 482,272 landslides over 20,500 square kilometers (7,900 square miles). Its major statistics are the landslide index (LI) here, the ratio of the landslide area to the total area of a region, the landslide index in mountainous hilly areas here LIMH, and the density of landslides, which is the number per 100 square kilometers (39 square miles). Italy as a whole has a LI of 6.8, a LIMH of 9.1, and a density of 160. Lombardia LI of 13.9, Emilia Romagna 11.4, Marches 19.4, Molise 14.0, Valle d'Aosta 16.0 and Piemont 9.1 are significantly higher. The most unstable terrain in the Apennines when the landslide sites are plotted on the map are in order from most unstable the eastern flanks of the Tuscan Emilian Apennines, the Central Apennines and the eastern flank of the Southern Apennines. Instability there is comparable to the Alps bordering the Po Valley. The most stable terrain is on the western side, Liguria, Tuscany, Umbria and Lazio. The Apennines are slumping away to the northeast into the Po Valley and the Adriatic 40, that is, the zone where the Adriatic floor is being subducted under Italy. Slides with large translational or rotational surface movements are most common, e.g., a whole slope slumps into its valley, placing the population there at risk. Glacial ice 
Glaciers no longer exist in the Apennines outside the Grand Sasso d'Italia Massif. However, post-Pliocene moraines have been observed in Basilicata. Major peaks The Apennines include about 21 peaks over 1,900 meters 6, feet, the approximate tree line counting only the top peak in each massif. Most of these peaks are located in the central Apennines. See also Monte Simbruini – Apennines Plants and Animals List Geography of Italy List of national parks of Italy List of longest tunnels List of highest paved roads in Europe List of mountain passes Taskforce Miela Notes References Bibliography Apennines. Miriam Webster's Geographical Dictionary, 3rd ed. Miriam Webster, Inc. 2001. Blackie, Christina, Blackie, John Stewart. 1887. Geographical Etymology, a dictionary of place names giving their derivations. London, Murray. Deke, W. Nesbitt, H. A. Translator. 1904. Italy, a popular account of the country, its people, and its institutions, including Malta and Sardinia. London, New York, Macmillan Co., S. Sonnenschein and Co. Lunardi, Pietro. 2008. Design and Construction of Tunnels: Analysis of Controlled Deformation in Rocks and Soils. ADECORS. Berlin, Springer. Margariti, Lucia, et al., August October 2006. The Subduction Structure of the Northern Apennines, Results for the Retreat Seismic Deployment PDF. Annals of Geophysics. 49, 4 fifths. Archived from the original PDF on 19 June 2010. Martini, I. Peter, Vi, Gian Battista 2001. Geomorphologic Setting. In Martini, I. Peter, Vi, Gian Battista. Anatomy of an Origin, the Apennines and Adjacent Mediterranean Basins. Dordrecht, U.A., Kluwer Academic Publishers. pp. 1–4. Barchi, Massimiliano, Landuzzi, Alberto, Manelli, Giorgio, Piali, Giampaolo 2001. Inner Northern Apennines. In Martini, I. Peter, Vi, Gian Battista. Anatomy of an Origin, the Apennines and Adjacent Mediterranean Basins. Dordrecht, U.A., Kluwer Academic Publishers. pp. 215–254. Pedroti, F., Gafta, D. 2003. The High Mountain Flora and Vegetation of the Apennines and the Italian Alps. In Nagy, Laszlo, Gravher, G., Corner, C. H., Thompson, D. B. A. Alpine Biodiversity in Europe. Ecological Studies, 167. Berlin, Heidelberg, U. A., Springer Verlag. pp. 73–84, Attribution This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain Lake, Philip 1911. Apennines. In Chisholm, Q. Encyclopædia Britannica, 2, 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. pp. 161–163. External links, Italy. Catholic Online. Retrieved 21 February 2010. Ligurian Apennine. Summit Post, 2006. Retrieved 16 February 2010. Italian Cultural Landscapes, Wood Pasture and Wood Meadow in the Ligurian Tuscan Emilian Apennines, Italy. The ECL Project. Archived from the original on 17 September 2007. Retrieved 16 February 2010. Apennine Deciduous Montane Forests. Terrestrial Ecoregions. World Wildlife Fund. Retrieved 16 February 2010. Erlem, Michael J. 2009. The Great Apennine Tunnel. Mike's Railway History. Retrieved 16 February 2010. 10th Mountain Division, The Formative World War Two Years. Dartmouth College Class of 1965. 2008. Retrieved 16 February 2010.